Hello everybody, our Martin Evans style drawing. So there's just a, a few main points I want to know. Whatever piece you've chosen, make sure, see there's a difference between colouring in like that and colouring in when you press harder. If you press harder, I mean not too hard because obviously you've got a lot to colour in. You get a much brighter colour. And you might have been able to guess, but he does his work in colour pencil. So we will be working on a bit of blending today. But first of all, I wanted to show you this bright colour. Now, can you see how I'm colouring in one direction? But as I'm going to go around this shape, I'm almost like outlining the shape that I'm colouring in. This just gives me a nice edge and then piece. I'm going to make sure that each section is in a different bright colour. Building, you don't blend how brightly coloured all the buildings are. That is what you're going to be doing. So, say we've got this whole bridge then coloured in. I know I haven't quite got it, but for time purposes now. What I'm going to then go for is something for this inside part of the bridge. Now, because we want it to be really brightly coloured, we want it to stand out, I'm going to go for a colour that's opposite it on the colour wheel. Now, I've got, a, I've got a nice pink here. So again, pressing nice and hard. going right up to the edge of the paper. When you go into the edge of the paper you just go in one direction like so. So the underneath of the bridge then stands out against that blue like so. So we've got a nice brightly coloured bridge. Now this underneath bit we're going to come back to afterwards. So next what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to get some of these houses. Now if you want to, you could go around the windows and the doors and we can add a different colour in then for those. What I'm going to do, I'm not going to do the houses right next to each other the same colour. See, I'm still pressing quite hard to get that nice bright colour. Being careful to go around the windows then. What you can do, I could go up to one of the houses up here and I'm going to have one of the houses up here in this green as well. And you might find it easier to do random houses in green all over the all over your drawing. Then go in between with your second colour and then you can go with your third colour and fourth colour and see if you've got any of those houses left. Right, have we got any other ones? We could do one of the ones down here as well. See so like the one that's disappearing behind that building like that. Then what I'm going to do, I'm going to come in with a different colour for the roof. Now again I'm choosing a nice contrasting colour. So I've gone for purple this time. And I'm going to get that roof up there as well. If you think, most buildings have got like slates on the roof. So I'm actually going to do all of the roofs in this lovely purple colour. Just to show that all of these houses have all got the same material. So you can see how I draw around the shape and then I colour in the inside. Go along the edge of the shape, like so. And going in. 
And what colour am I going to do these other houses? I'll get to decide that in a minute. So yeah, so you want nice bright colours. And then the last bit I want to show you, nice bright colours and then each bit in between. What I'll do is I'll show you the next bit. So what I wanted to show you is wherever you have any mountains or hills, he's made them look 3D. So the way we do that is we're going to stick a dark green done as I write up to the end, pressing really hard with my green. And then I'm going to lift up the pressure and blend it out. Lift up the pressure. So remember these are the valleys and up the bulk. Really does have these rounded tops. And then I'm gonna go in with a lighter green. I've got any lighter green so you can see it. Lighter green like so. I'm into that and then I'm gonna colour the rest of in that light. So, if you feel like you're confident to start, by all means, feel free to skip through the rest of this video. So remember in bright colours, neatly in those bold colour pencil, pressing down quite hard. So that you can get as bright a colour as you can. If you want to stay and watch as I finish off this piece, by all means, you can stay. We're going to have one orange house up here. My yellow is broken, so I need to get this building up here nice and red. There's like a bank or something with these bars on the window. I will figure out how to speed up these videos and edit them. It'd be great if we can get a time lapse instead of watching the whole thing. So I've got that red building. I'm going to have to give it a red roof as well, but I'm going to leave that strip. I'm going to do it a different colour just to make up. Oh yeah, I'm gonna do it. the sky there I am going to press lighter so I only have one shade of blue I don't want it to be exactly the, as the bridge at the bottom and this is going to come around the top of this house
what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this video off otherwise this video is going to be very very long um, I will upload a photograph of my finished drawing for you just in the style of Martin Evans and making sure they're nice and bright and nice and block colours as well there. Okay, any questions please give me a message. I look forward to seeing what you produce.